once a popular hub for football fans in Ukraine, Shakhtar Donetsk Stadium is evidence of how much has changed since Russia's special military operation began. These days, it's a deserted monument at the entrance to the volatile Kyiv district in Donetsk. Known also as Kyivsky, life here is a constant fight for survival. There are no warning sirens, so if you hear the sound of shelling, then you're among the lucky ones. You've survived. It's very hard, very hard. No water, no light. It's very hard. A lot of shelling. Last week there was a missile that landed 10 meters away. Karina is a familiar face in Kievsky. She doesn't have a home and roams the streets. We ask who she supports in the war. I'm not loyal to Ukraine or Russia. I'm loyal to myself. Before the war, I used to be a sportswoman. Since the war, though, the only exercise I do is drinking alcohol. Damaged and destroyed buildings line the roads from Kievsky to Kulvyshevsky. The toll of the war is most evident on the facade of the district's buildings. One of the last few still standing is this mosque, the only one in Donetsk. There's constant shelling. Thank God, as long as we are alive, there used to be three of us working here. One stepped on a mine, the other left. Sometimes, only a few streets separate life and death. Although the sound of shelling and gunfire can be heard throughout Donetsk, there are some areas, like here in the city center, where people go about their daily lives as usual. Shops and cafes are open and it's difficult to believe that battles are taking place just a few kilometers away. As the sun goes down and darkness sets in, the city's contrasts are less obvious. People take shelter in their homes, united in the uncertainty of another night of conflict. Ali Hashim Al Jazeera, Donetsk.